Okay, we are with Dr. Jibo Ibrahim, um, Director of the Center for Democratic Development, West Africa. No, Be Center for Democracy and Development. Sorry, Center for Democracy and Development. A very important distinction. Yes. West Africa, based in Abuja. That's right. Okay. Mm. Known as the famous Jibo, the African Polka Scientist. Jibo, you were in Ghana as part of the Carter mission to observe our elections. I'm not going to really push you on this specific election. If you may, let's discuss things more broadly. We've been on this African democratic journey for quite some time. And in point of fact, I've just remembered that you produce a remarkable little book on democratization in West Africa. If you have to update that book very generally, what would you say about the progress of democracy in West Africa over the past five years? I think what's very clear is that the progress of democracy is bifurcated in our region. On the one hand, you have a number of countries that have been making steady progress towards consolidating free and fair elections and advancing their democracy, while you have other countries where the franchise of the African citizen has been lost completely. And I think this really presents an interesting issue for us as political scientists. What explains the ability of certain countries to advance on democracy while others are regressing permanently? I think we can give examples when you look at countries like Nigeria, countries like Zimbabwe. Very clearly, democracy is on a trial. In Ghana, you've just had your fifth successive uh, election. And what is interesting about the Ghanaian case is that each election has been better than the previous one, which means there's consolidation and you are building on your experience. And I think it's this really different scenarios that I find interesting in terms of democracy in Africa. So Ghana is a leader. We are in the right uh, path or the right camp in democratization in Africa. Ghana is in the group of winners. But it is also important to be careful when we make such assessments because we never really quite know whether we never really quite know whether the progress that on March will be consolidated. It just takes one mistake, it takes one stupid political move to create a situation of political crisis that will reverse considerable gain. But I think clearly so far the message in Ghana is that it's clearly one of the leaders. Jibo, the last time I met you in Accra, you were working on a CD project to develop an index for ECOWAS to measure governance. How would such an effort compare with more international efforts like the Qatar mission we are on now? Well, the index we are working on is really an African-based initiative. And what we are doing with the index is to try to draw from the African Supplementary Protocol on Democracy and Good Governance and use the standards we set for ourselves to assess our own countries. And I think, in particular, the goals and targets we have set for ourselves on political party development, on the conditions for free and fair elections, on the right of the opposition parties to fully exercise all these issues are things we have committed ourselves to. But we find in the daily practice of African politics, a lot of the instruments we have devised for ourselves are not being respected by our governments and by our political class. And the idea of the index we are working on is to come out each year with an assessment of what progress is being made 
over regression is being suffered in terms of compliance with the protocol on democracy and good governance we have defined for ourselves. How would this compare to the African peer review mechanism? The African peer review mechanism is different because you do a systematic analysis and assessment of the country on the basis of the four uh, instruments that are used in the peer review democracy. It includes corporate governance, political governance, social, socio-economic development and all that. We are much more focused. We are looking specifically at electoral democracy and political parties because we feel that is the crux of the democratization process. That's the crux of political development. And it is important to focus on the fulcrum, as it were, that determines the direction of political development. Jibo, there was a wide expectation of violence surrounding this election. Were you alarmed when you were asked to be part of this observation mission? For your personal safety? No, I was not. Maybe because you are coming from Nigeria. I know Ghana enough and I know coming from Nigeria. Uh, it wouldn't be anything as bad as what we've experienced in our own country. Thank you very much, Jiro. You're Thank welcome. You.